So basically, PR cancer is a rare disease. Uh, we have uh, limited understanding of molecular mutations, and the patient with relapse disease have dismal outcomes. So basically, the background of our study was to try and identify, um, basically, target the pill mutations in PR cancer that could improve clinical outcomes and clinical trials. We performed whole exome sequencing on 34 cases of PR cancer that had a clinical presentation that's very similar to the clinical presentation of PR cancer in the real world. We performed whole exome sequencing and uh, HPV PCR testing to identify the HPV status. The, the two most, most important finding is the tumor mutational burden in, in PR cancer appear to be similar to lung and head and neck squamous cell carcinomas where immune checkpoint therapy has been approved. Uh, so that could be an implication for a clinical trial where immune checkpoint could have an efficacy in this, uh, in this rare disease. On the other side, from the molecular alteration, we uh, noted that, H, that PR cancer seemed to be similar have similar genomic mutations to other squamous cell carcinomas, with one interesting uh, finding that notch one mutation uh, were mutated at a higher rate than others, uh, were made at 35% of the cases, in comparison to head and neck and the pan squamous cell carcinomas, where the usual mutation rate is around 11 to 15%. And that coincided well with the recent finding from our collaborators from MD Anderson that were able to establish in vivo and in, vi in, in, vivo and in vitro data uh, of the vulnerability of notch one loss of function mutation. And that was the first study that shows uh, vulnerability of the notch one loss, loss of function mutation in head and neck cancers. Uh, and that led to the bi biomarker driven uh, clinical trial in head and neck cancers specifically for notch one loss of function mutation patients. And we hope that if we see good early result to expand that study to include other squamous cell tumors with notch one mutation, and that could be an opportunity for patients with relapsed penile cancer.